So there are three kinds of formulas there. That is acceleration due to gravity is measured by the formula 4 pi square L by T square. So on moment of inertia is measured by the formula I is equal to M K square. Here M is nothing but mass of the pendulum. By using this weighing machine you can measure the mass of the pendulum. That is weight of the pendulum. And radius of gyration is nothing but k. It is measured as formula for, that is it is measured by using the formula is root of h1 into h2. Here h1 and h2 is taken from the graph. For L value also we have to taken from graph. But t we are measuring from the oscillation. That is time period we have to be measured. So from that we can measure the Time period for the oscillation, particular oscillations. So this is the pendulum. It consists of 19 holes. So between the holes, the distance is 5 cm. It is suspended by using, have you know the name? This name, G clamp. So name of this is clamp, okay, G clamp. It is in the shape of, uh, shape of G. That's why it is called as a G clamp. So this is knife edge. So in the first hole and the last hole, initially we have to put and take the period of oscillation. Like this. So when it is started, we have to start the start clock. So now the knife edge is fixed in the fourth hole in the upper portion and also the lower portion. So when it is started, the clock is on. So it is about 13, 13 time second. It is taken for 10 oscillation for the whole 4. So how the knife edge is removed and it is passed to, to the another hole. That is second hole. So in the pendulum one end is fixed as A and another end is fixed as B. So if you are varying the knife edges for different holes, that is uh, the diff distance between the two holes is 5 cm. So different holes and you have to oscillate the pendulum for uh, each hole. That is uh, in the first hole uh, on the upper side and the last hole on the lower side, you are fitting the knife edge and you are taking the first reading for a 10 oscillation. But here yeah, they are taking for a 50 oscillation. So for every time they are changing the distance. So for each distances the knife are just moving up to 45 the holes are placing that is up to this point 45. 45 we can place the knife edge but after that the 50 point is that the hole is having one point. So that's why we are going to reverse the knife edge for the further reading. So 50th hole will be having no reading. So that will be put, we have to put the dash 
and after that the pendulum is reversed for each distance we are measuring the time taken and for time period for here we are taken for 50 oscillation so each value will be divided by 50 for measuring time period for one oscillation if you are taking for 10 oscillation each reading will divided by 10 so we can get time period for one oscillation after that we have to plot the graph between distance and the time period so we, which we have measured here so so we have get uh, the graph like this that is uh, the distance that is the time period is initially it will be decreased and it will be increased then after changing the pendulum we are getting the values like this that is uh, if you have the logical idea this will be that is uh, this will be the same that is 55 and 45 and 60 and 40 will be having that is equal value then only we can get uh, the graph like this now after plotting the graph we can connect to the points that is the straight points that will be named as P Q or S so the corresponding points will be the symmetric points will be here connected so after plotting the graph we can find the L from the graph uh, that is here we can uh, we have uh, drawn the graph between the distance of the knife edge and the time period so here that uh, points will be connected here we are taking the point P or and we are measuring the corresponding distance value and we are taking the value of Q S. So P or that is P is starting from 5 and R is starting from that is 67.5. So the difference is 62.5. So the P or value is 62.75. And QS value is we have taken from the graph that is Q and S. So that value will be the 65 centimeter. So the L value is nothing but P or plus QS divided by 2. That will give the value of L. So T is nothing but from the graph where the P will be touched. So 1.6 time period second. Time period in seconds. So that will be taken or the value of t so we have to substitute both of it that is l will be in the formula it will be as l square so we have to square sorry l it's remain l but t will be square then we have to take t square that is l by t square that value is 24.90 so in the formula we have to substitute this value we can find the acceleration due to gravity that is the formula for finding acceleration due to gravity, P value, Q value, R value, S value and P R value, Q S value we have uh, defined here that is calculated here. Then for measuring L, P R plus Q S will be added and it will be divided by 2. Then uh, the corresponding uh, time period will be taken from the graph. So all the things will be substituted and it is calculated so finally we get the exact value of g that is the constant value of g is 9.8 meter per second square so in the graph we are connecting more than three points we can take uh, that uh, l value for that is l by t squared value for uh, these three patterns then we have to take the mean value like this that is here we are connecting uh, three lines in the graph so for the three lines uh, we are taking the average value of L and we can find uh, if you are connecting one line you can take L but the better way is you, if you connect more than one line possible lines then you can get the mean value of L that will be considered as the 
L value. Then for finding K, so from the graph, that is K is nothing but radius of gyration. The formula is root of H1 into H2. H1 is nothing but from the graph, you can take the value of Ps. When it is divided by 2, it will be taken as H1. Then you have to take the value of QR. Then it will be taken as So the value of K is find by the formula H1 into H2. H1 is the PS which is taken from the graph and QR is taken from the graph for H2. So by using this formula we can find the radius of gyration. So for radius of gyration also we can take three different readings from the graph because three different lines we are connected. So we can take and for final radius of gyration we can take the average value so here radius of gyration is measured moment of inertia is measured acceleration due to gravity is measured but here we are getting the higher value but previous one we are getting that uh, value is correct that is g is 9.8 meter per second square thank you